Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, I'm going to give another example related to hypothesis testing for the difference in the population means but in this case, we are assuming that the population variances are unequal and unknown Okay. So here, the average size of a farm in Belarus is 191 acres the average size of a farm in Moldova is 199 acres. Assume the data were obtained from two normal populations with sample standard deviations of 38 and 12 acres respectively. So therefore, this is the X bar for Belarus and this is the X bar, the sample mean for Moldova. Uh, this one is the standard deviation sample standard deviation for belarus and this is the sample standard deviation for moldova and then sample sizes of 18 so this is the sample size for belarus and this is the sample size for moldova so assuming the population variances are unequal and of course they are unknown can you conclude that the average size of the farms in two countries is different using alpha 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 here is the significance level and if you see the word different here it carries the following mathematical symbol which is not equal to okay different and based on this um, statement here you can see that this corresponds to the construction of alternative hypothesis and this example is asking you to find or to compare your results using all approaches a traditional p-value and confidence interval and in this video i'm just going to look at the traditional procedure first yeah okay so let's start with the first step which is to write down the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis so step one h null is going to be um, well, well, let's focus on the alternative first because this statement here corresponds to the alternative hypothesis. It says the average, average is the mean, the mean size of the farms in two countries is different. So it means that um, mu for Belarus is not the same or is different or is not equal to the mu of Moldova. So the mean size of the farms in Belarus is not equal to the mean size of the farms in Moldova. And because of that, we know the alternative, the null hypothesis will be written as mu for Belarus is equal to mu of Moldova. And as I said earlier, I prefer to write down the hypothesis statements using option 3. So here, um, I'm going to consider subtracting mu m from both the sides of this equation. Therefore, I will get mu b minus mu m is equal to 0. And similarly for this one, for alternative, it will be mu b minus mu m not equal to 0. Okay, right. On the second step is to calculate the test statistic. And the test statistic is the one which is about testing the population means. Let us go back to the previous slide. Okay, so the aim is to test the difference in the population means. We have independent samples, normal populations, variances are unknown and it is assumed to be unequal. So this is the test statistic that you should be using where the degrees of freedom is um, deter is determined by which one is minimum. Is it N1 minus one or N2 minus one? So that's the meaning of this statement given here. Okay, so let's go back to our example, which is this one. Oops, sorry, not this one. Um, uh, where is it? This one. Okay, so the test statistic is going to be this one. 
and the formula here has to follow the convention of the hypothesis statement where you have Belarus minus Moldova so therefore x bar for Belarus the sample mean for Belarus minus the sample mean for Moldova and here we have the same connotation which is mu b minus mu m over here we will have the sample variance for Moldo for Belarus over the sample size of Belarus and here we have the sample variance for Moldova over the sample size of Moldova and so you can see that uh, x bar is this one so 191 minus 199 Okay, and then uh, we know that from the null hypothesis, it says mu b minus mu m is zero, so zero can be substitute substituted into this position here, so minus zero, mu b minus mu m is equal to zero, and over here is going to be a uh, sample variance, so here is. Um, 38 squared okay, so 38 squared over the sample size is 18 plus next is 12 squared and the sample size is 20 okay and so you will get that the result is negative 0.86 Okay, negative 0 0.86 okay the next step is to sketch the critical region and find the critical values the third step is to sketch the critical region okay, this is the t distribution curve so this is based on the t distribution table later on and here the middle point is zero and based on your alternative statement here the hypothesis is a two-sided which means it can go on either the right direction or the left direction so therefore we have two critical regions on the left and on the right okay so these are the critical regions and since alpha is 0 0.05 therefore the area here is 0 0.025 and the area on this is also 0 0.025 so our job is to find what is the critical value which means this point here on the horizontal axis and this point here on the horizontal axis okay so that's your job and we are going to refer to the t distribution table and notice that the degrees of freedom is going to be uh, decided or determined by looking at which sample size is the the smaller one so this one is the smaller one so 18 minus 1 is going to be 17 so degrees of freedom is going to be equal to 17 okay so sorry so now if you refer to the t distribution table again let me just uh, sketch what we are looking for the area here is 0 0.025 and uh, another area here is also um, 0 0.025 and we are interested to find what is this point here Okay, what is this this is the critical value and this point here is also the critical value now if we just focus on this part this part here looks similar to the area given on the t distribution table okay so the area here is 0 0.025 which is this one so the area here is 0 0.025 now we can go and refer to the t distribution table where alpha is 0 0.025 yep and uh degrees of freedom is 17 so this is degrees of freedom 17 
and so <coughs> excuse me so here we have the result which is 2.110 so that is the critical value 2.110 this is the positive value and we know that this distribution is symmetric therefore on this side is also going to be the same number just that we have a negative sign so here negative 2.110 okay so um now i'm going to write down the critical value critical value is going to be plus minus 2.110 and maybe i should just put it clearly here 2.110 on this side is negative 2.110 okay so the fourth step is to compare the um is to compare what you have here the test statistic with the critical value okay so if you see the old test statistic is negative 0 0.86 therefore negative 0 0.86 might be somewhere here so this is negative 0 0.86 and clearly this test statistic doesn't fall into the critical region critical region is the purple area given on this side or on this side okay so based on that we we see that the test statistic negative 0 0.86 doesn't fall into the critical region therefore h null cannot be rejected the fifth step is to write down the conclusion and usually the conclusion has to relate to the alternative statement given here and you can also see that the alternative statement is similar to this given in the question and you can actually use this sentence to create a conclusion okay or you can use this idea in order to write down your conclusion okay so since the null hypothesis cannot be rejected therefore there is not enough evidence to support this alternative statement here so not enough evidence to support the alternative statement so what is alternative statement the alternative statement is basically saying that average size of the farms in two countries is different so there is not enough evidence to support that the average size of the farms in two countries is different okay i think uh, that's all for now thank you very much for watching